what is common between this machine and Bembrep CD printer. Hello, welcome to my tech farm. I have a little bit different product for this video. This is Carvera Air. And this box is sent to me by the Makera company in exchange for the review. There is no additional payment, but however, this uh, video is still sponsored by Polymaker, who became a channel sponsor. This is entry-level desktop CNC milling machine. What is a milling machine? Well, unlike with the 3D printing, which is additive manufacturing, when we add material to existing to make a final product, here actually we will start from the block or some raw material, and we will take out material to get the final product. Currently I'm in my basement and behind me you can see my metal cutting machines. This milling machine can cut even steel, but it is manual. And two most interesting materials which can uh, work with are uh, the aluminum and transparent acrylic. Because currently I don't have a machine which can uh, normally cut this uh, transparent acrylic. Because for example dyed lasers can cut uh, black acrylic without any problems. But they cannot handle this transparent acrylic. Uh, for this I would need a CO2 laser, but I don't have one. This will be the final position for this uh, CNC milling machine. Let's see a few specifications from the website. The working area is 30 by 20 by 13 centimeters, which is not big. But for my needs this will be far enough. This is a quick tool changer. This means we have to do it manually, but it is really nice design and you can do it in 10 seconds. Auto calibration, this includes the Z coordinate, because if we change the tool, usually the X and Y position will be the same like with the previous tool, but the Z position may be different and this can be calibrated automatically. And also it has the auto leveling. Why? Well, if you are uh, not new in the 3D printing, then you know if you want to uh, carve or engrave a surface and it is not completely equal, in this case you can do some auto leveling and it will compensate it with this engraving along the Z axis. Now the spindle, uh, 13,000 RPM and 200 watts. And unfortunately this may be a weakest point for me if I want to engrave a metal a little bit more. Because for example on this one it is 500 watts but with a brushless motor and also uh, it has some ratio so I have much bigger torque on the cutting. But basically this may be good enough for these softer materials and probably even for the aluminum. Possibility to add the vortexes to rotate objects during engraving. It is a close, so basically those chips will be collected, not like with these machines, you can see the chips all over the place. And I can connect the external dust collector too. So according to the website, except the steel, basically it can cut many other softer materials, including aluminum and brass, PCB, acrylic, wood and similar. With this very important is the software, like Slicer we have for the CD printing. Here we need some CAM software, and in this case they offer their own software, Makera CAM, which can be used to manipulate with this machine. Now there is a small drawback, here in the basement I don't have any kind of the network, even the mobile signal is extremely weak, but I will try to share the mobile network from my smartphone, I hope that will be enough. Now let's unbox this. <laughs> the packaging is extremely good. We even have instructions how to take it out from the box. Um, unfortunately, I have to do it alone. I don't have any kind of help. I hate this white styrofoam, but except this, this is one of the best packaging I ever unboxed. But to take it out from the box, just in case I cut it out. Theoretically, this is two men's job, but I work alone. Maybe I'm fed, but I can still lift things. This is quite heavy. Let's continue with unboxing. This is satisfying part. But again that white styrofoam. And more boxes inside. I will need much more space here on the desk. Looks like I got a quite rich package. This is the Vortexes laser module with the safety glasses. And I checked this is a 5 watt version with optical power. Some materials, toolkit and accessories. And here I got some drill bits and some holder. I think one video will not even be enough. First impressions, well as a mechanical engineer I really like what I can see here. On X and Y axis they use this 20mm uh, diameter linear rods. On Z axis they use the linear rails on each side. 
and for the motion they don't use the trapezoidal screws which has a big problem with the backlash but they use the ball screws which are much more accurate and this I can see from the bottom and I can see one limit switch on the y-axis now it's bigger brother has the automatic tool changing here we have to do it manually but it is extremely fast let me show you out in it can be done in 10 seconds maybe in the corner we can see the limit switch for the z axis if we change the tool the x and y position should be the same only in z direction it may be longer or shorter and with this it will know exactly the position in z coordinate this is a wide probe or some kind of weak laser and with this we can preview check the position of our engraving and basically it is something similar like the boundary check or the framing in the laser engraving this is the connection for the air assist maybe i'll try to use some air pump which i got with the laser engravers i'm not sure is it strong enough and also this is a dust collection module but it don't have its own fan we have to connect our vacuum cleaner here on the back side before we continue just very shortly about my background on my previous workplace i was working as a programmer on a big maho cnc milling machine but i did only the programming and there was separately an operator who handled the machine did the zeroing and everything else and that was 20 years ago and today i don't even have the access to that software and i'm not even sure what feed and speed i have to use with this software material so i don't have big advantage here but at least i know what to look for cable is connected i also checked the voltage let's turn it on hmm. it's zeroing maybe By the way, I really like these lights and illumination. This is the box with materials for the projects prepared by Makera. This is something like the Benchy for the 3D printer, g -code prepared by the manufacturer. And in this video I will do only one 3D milling and after this I want to do my own object and own G-code. And in a separate video I want to test the vortexes and the laser engraving. There are two apps. One is the Makara controller and it will control the machine. It is available on different operating systems, it is available for the computers or even smartphones, Android and similar. The second is the Makara Cam and it is something like a slicer for CD printers so it will generate those uh, G-codes. Now I already mentioned that here I don't really have uh, any network but uh, I could connect with my USB and I will use my laptop for the controlling of the machine. For the first project I don't need the Makara cam because I will use the prepared G-codes, something like a Benchy, you know, for the CD printers. And there are very detailed instructions in this book what to do. So I just follow these instructions and do my first prepared project. I already mentioned that all necessary materials for these projects are included. This is a buffer plate and this will be our raw material. With milling it is extremely important to fix the part correctly, it cannot move. This is the most common reason for breaking drill bits that the part moves. In future actually I want to use uh, some kind of vise here. I have a lot of vises for my main milling machine, but I have this one which I don't use and I hope I can use it here. It is quite light and for my needs it should be enough. I prepared the bits I will use in this project and I'm scared a little bit just to show you this is the size I get used to, but of course this is for the manual milling on the steel. I'm sure the G-code is prepared correctly. Inside the Makara controller I'm loading the prepared G-codes, examples, relief, and this is that uh, G-code prepared by Makara. 3D relief. And immediately it offers the preview. I highly recommend you to analyze this a little bit, maybe you will prevent some errors. It asks me to insert the wire probe, which I already did, and I can click on confirm or pressing this main button. Zeroing the Z. And this is some kind of framing or boundary check, so I have to pay attention that everything is here and it will not hit any holders or something like that. And now checking the zero position, top of the surface, on the Z. It asks for the first tool. And inside the enclosure it is seriously quieter 
I don't have my noise meter here, but I will check the noise later. But this is not loud. <laughs> Quieter than some CD printers. It stopped and it asked for the second tool. Now I didn't use the dust collector because I have to print some adapter so I can use my vacuum cleaner. Let's clean this mess first. Now it's working on a fine details. <laughs> Basically only 20% of the project is finished. Oh, actually now I notice that I have the remaining time here on the bottom. <laughs> Three more hours to go, okay. From half meter distance around 50 decibels. Some CD printers are louder than this. Of course this is soft material, but even then this is quite good, especially inside the enclosure. One last tool change and then it will cut out the part. Now it is cutting out the part and it's going down and theoretically it should touch this MDF and stop there. Maybe the mark will be visible, but we will see soon. Well, theoretically it is finished. Okay, this is the final result. Now it didn't cut completely through it, theoretically it should. You can see maybe on the other side that it is quite transparent and, and only on these two points it should be connected and then I should cut off, but let's try to press it out. Yes. Even a small handsaw is included in the kit. But I have more success with my knife. And the final result. <laughs> the brim. It's time to prepare the Makera cam and I want to prepare my own G-code and for this I want to use this vise but I'm not even sure is this fixing good enough. It should be but we will see. I'm making some holders for it but uh, it's not finished yet. I think in English they are called milling parallels and uh, I want to lift a little bit higher this object in the vise. Mm -hmm. This should be okay. I just want to go one millimeter deep to engrave the MyTech Fun logo here. This is Makera Cam software. First I'm giving the size and the material of my start object. Then I'm setting the coordinate. Since this is a cylindrical start object, I'm placing it in the center. Importing the step file. Theoretically it can work with other material types, but step file give us the most uh, possibilities. For example, we can select only one surface or something similar. Click and then 3D relief in this case. Adding the tool. And I will use the same tool like in the previous final engraving. Also I can select different materials, hard wood in this case. Choose. And basically no other changes, I will have different settings and create. And this is the path for the tool. I can export the G-code. And I can import it into Makera controller. Upload file. This is the NC file. And this is the path preview. I can do some simulation, analyzing it. Work origin in the center. This position will be my current work origin. And I can set it here. Z probe, auto Z probe config and I set it to the work origin, 0, 0, okay, and it should be here, okay, so the framing is correct, origin 2, and the start is good, maybe the depth is not good enough, I'm not sure actually, Aha! Uh -huh. Looks okay so far. This is only 17 minute engraving, but I will close it. Because it's quieter now. From the dust I cannot really see if everything is okay, but it should be. At least I can follow the progress on the screen. It's almost finished, I can hardly wait to remove the dust and to see the results. Okay, moment of the truth. Okay, after 20 years, <laughs> my first CNC milling project.
Not perfect, but uh, I still have to learn a lot. So if our object has a standard shape to start from like cylinder or box, in that case it is much more economic to prepare that body and mill only parts which have to be removed, compared to the cutout parts. In this case we have a lot of waste material. Of course sometimes we cannot avoid it because of this irregular shape, but it is good to know about it. There are three more prepared projects. One is including the PCB with auto leveling. The second is the fourth axis with the rotary unit. And the third one is engraving with a laser. And uh, they will be covered in uh, my next video, also creating my own G-code. Final thoughts. Well, the real success of the Prusa or later Bembole printers is not only that they create a good hardware, but the whole ecosystem around it. A good slicer, materials, profile for those materials, and something similar I can see here. Extremely good hardware with the following things around it. The software controller and cam software, materials, tools, profile for those tools and materials in the cam software. Huge advantage of this product is the Makera cam software. Until with the CD printing, we get used to it that we have a very good and free slicer software. In the cam industry, it is not so obvious. We have some free software, but they are not too usable. And those which are work uh, correctly, they are really expensive. And here we have this uh, cam software free together with the machine. I'm not sure how old is the Makera cam software, but I can still see some space for improvements. For example, the software which I used uh, almost 20 years ago had some advanced functions which I couldn't find here. Don't forget you have to work with the stepwise, then you have more possibilities. But uh, anyway, that uh, software which I mentioned costs fortune and this we get free with the product. For me, an improvement would be to have a base with the T-slots for fixing instead of these uh, nuts on fixed positions. I highly suggest you to watch the Makera YouTube channel with a lot of very useful playlists separated. For example, we have the full playlist for the Makera cam and similar. I have a friend of mine who bought that cheap uh, CNC milling machine from the AliExpress and it is just a frustration. Now he is spending a fortune to upgrade it to make it usable. And this works out of the box and extremely good quality. Yes, it is expensive, but if you need a desktop milling machine which can properly mill aluminum, I didn't try it yet, but definitely this is a good machine. And to stay fully ambiguous in this statement, I wouldn't even place affiliate link down in the description if the company wouldn't ask for it. Usually they ask for this affiliate link so they can see the statistics to see how useful was that YouTuber. But this is really my opinion, I can highly recommend this product. If you have some other experience with this machine, write me a few lines down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe CNC milling.